Hi guys, it's Joanne from 15 Spatulas. Happy New Year, by the way. It's great to be back. Uh, I took a couple of weeks off. I went home to California to visit my family, which is really nice because I hadn't been home for actually a couple of years. Uh, but I'm back in New York now, ready to share a new recipe with you. And today we're going to make homemade hot chocolate. So I've actually tried making hot chocolate in a bunch of different ways, and I find that for the smoothest, richest, best hot chocolate, it's better to use an actual chocolate bar instead of cocoa powder, so that's what we're gonna do. So to get started, I've got a saucepan here. I'm just gonna turn my heat to medium, and I'm gonna add a tablespoon of sugar to my pan, just to provide a little bit of sweetness since I'm using a darker chocolate. And then I'm also gonna add in a cup of whole milk. And I'm just gonna whisk this and dissolve the sugar. And I'm gonna wait until this comes to about 180 degrees Fahrenheit, that's a scalding temperature. You don't want this to come to a full boil. In the meantime, we're going to chop up our chocolate. So I've got two ounces of bittersweet chocolate here, but if you don't like it so dark, you could do semi-sweet or you could do milk chocolate as well. Now I'm gonna take my chocolate and just transfer it to a heat-proof bowl. And we're actually going to microwave this in 30-second intervals until it's melted and then add it to the hot milk already pretty much melted. because so I find that when you add the um, big pieces straight to the milk, it's kind of hard for it to melt and it's not as smooth. So this is gonna go into the microwave. So my chocolate is melted and my milk is nice and hot. So I'm gonna scrape my melted chocolate directly into the hot milk. I'm gonna turn the heat off just so this doesn't get a little bit hot. And I'm just gonna whisk that together until it's combined. And this is optional, but if you want to, this is when you can add in a little splash of vanilla extract, just like a half teaspoon. Whisk that in. Now it is ready to drink. So I'm just gonna pour a little bit into my cup. Mm, I love how frothy it is on top. And now is when you can add in some mini marshmallows or a big marshmallow. Now I'm going to tell you guys how this tastes. Mm. It's so good. Seriously, like once you make homemade hot chocolate, especially in this way, like you cannot go back to hot chocolate mix. It's just so rich and creamy and chocolatey. Mm. Hope you guys enjoyed learning how to make this recipe. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.